Hey everyone, I'm Nick Martin. This is AfterBuzz TV's mini spotlight on, and I'm joined by the very beautiful Kang, who you will see in the new film Crazy Rich Asians, so stay tuned. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Did this put you in a happy mood? <laughs> Not just happy. Smooth, <laughs> relaxed, yeah. Everything now, I everything I like. <laughs> we asked her right before what kind of music you want, you said Palunutini. And there was no hesitation. You know, what's the, how long have you known him for? How long have you really enjoyed his music time. for? Really long time. Although, you know, he's not very prolific, but but I just love every song he's come up with. So, you know, yeah, I love his sound. I, I, look at him. You, you can listen to him all night. <laughs> you can listen to him all night and you can look at him uh, yeah. every hour of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Duh, Nick. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Nick Marty. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Mini Spotlight On. I'm joined by Kang, who you will see in Crazy Rich Asians, which comes out August 15th. Yes, right. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for having me here. It's such a happy place. I'm so excited. You know, we've, there's been so much marketing for this yeah. film. There's yeah. billboards everywhere. There's billboard right outside of my apartment, I, yeah, right I down know. the street. I I know. So you're everywhere right now. Yeah. <laughs> so and you had the premiere just two days ago. That's Tell me right. a little bit about that. Well, you know, it was the first time that for myself as a Singaporean to walk the red carpet, which was actually green, to go with the movie poster. You were like, I didn't even get the red carpet. Yeah, I got the yeah, green I carpet. I got the green carpet, but I'm not complaining because it really was such an unusual and uplifting and actually a very calming experience for me. I think a lot of people thought that um, for a Singaporean actress uh, on an international platform, which is basically what Crazy Rich Asians is, um, that the entire experience would be filled with anxiety. But somehow everything was organized so beautifully from the minute we stepped out of the limo um, that I, I felt nothing but um, calm and, and peace. And I really appreciated every single journalist giving me the attention and the opportunity to be able to express and say what I felt. I, I, I thought it was a privilege. Was it one of the most memorable times you think in your career so far? You know, because it's kind of like you're wrapping up the film and now you're reacing the cast and rejoining the cast once again. I feel like that would just be a hallmark and moment in you know one's life, seeing everyone again. I think it was a highlight in my life in that I really loved the fact that it was a way to showcase talent from my tiny little country mm -hmm. onto a large international platform. What has the feedback been so far, you know, from people back home? Well, at the risk of sounding arrogant, and I, I really <laughs> don't want to, but so far the feedback has been wonderful. That's amazing. And yeah, the feedback has been wonderful. So many of the Singaporean actors uh, that were walking the green carpet with me, we all made a little pact, and we all wanted to showcase Singapore fashion design, and so we all wore Singapore fashion, the Singapore fashion design clothes, and um, that got so much press, so much positive press. Yeah, and and it's it's it it. it we just felt so proud. And I'm wearing, you know, Singapore designed clothes today. This is from a good company and my ring is from um, state property. And so, yeah, I, we're just we're just being patriotic all the way. And today is Singapore's National Day. And so red, it's a day to wear everything. That's oh. right. And red is Singapore's color. So, so yeah, I'm really here to represent my country. Are you what are you doing tonight then? Are you are you having a big dinner with everyone? Actually, yes, because the Singapore Tourism Board right here in LA is throwing a little party and um, we're all invited and it's held in conjunction with uh, Crazy Rich Asians and so we're all going there. We've got um, wonderful Singapore food. Uh, they flew up one of my really good friends and he's a very famous Singapore chef and he's going to be cooking up some really delicious grub. How much have you eaten today? Have you not been eating everything all day? Just so you can get prepared for the feast. You know, I've hardly eaten anything today and I almost went to buy a bag of nuts from the 7-Eleven across the road. Yeah. But I didn't because <laughs> we were already a few minutes late. Um, but that's not because I was saving my tummy. It's just that today we've just had such a busy day of 
non-stop interviews and meetings and and anyway I'm here to work so I am not complaining I'm sure well I see that you're having a really good time yeah and you know what has been one of your favorite moments besides the premiere of this whole thing because I didn't even know it was of this caliber you know that several of you or quite a few of you have come from Singapore and yeah. you guys you know this is something not I'm not saying huge but this is something just so different and that you guys are enjoying. What has been one of your favorite moments as a group, you think? I think that is very um, easily answered because in the last two nights, after all the parties, after the after parties, people have been going back to their hotel rooms. We're all staying in the same hotel. And then they change into their hotel robes. They grab whatever alcohol yeah. they have or drinks or whatever and extra cups. They all come into my room and everybody is just sitting on the floor and catching up with each other. Because you know what it's like, Nick. Sometimes when you're back home, You've got your own family, you've got your own things to do, mm -hmm. and you sometimes just don't have time to just stop and socialize and catch up with your really good friends. And now we're away from our families, you know, we're, we're all here together, we've got time, we're all staying in the same hotel, and so we've been chit-chatting and talking till like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., and so far for me, the, those have been the most precious times of my trip right here. I enjoy LA. hearing that, because I see your smile while you're saying it too, I can only imagine the excitement and the fun every single day here. <laughs> yeah. Now tell me a little bit about your character in the film. Sure. I play Carrie Chu, uh, the mother of uh, Rachel Chu, who's played by a wonderful American um, Asian um, actress, Constance Wu. Um, I'm familiar. Yes. I'm a huge fan of oh, Fresh Off, Fresh the, off boat. the Boat and Eddie Wong. Eddie Wong is one of my biggest idols. Yeah. yeah. She, um, she is such an amazing talent. Um, and I play a very devoted single mother from um, mainland China who brought her over here as a baby and who has raised her up single-handedly. And in a sense, you know, our story, the immigrant story, is um, mirrored with uh, the story of the crazy rich no. side of, you know, her boyfriend, Nick Young, and his mother, played by Michelle Yeoh. And yet, we're so different from each other. Um, and and I guess that's that's basically what my character is about and, and the situation that that encompasses both uh, my character and my relationship with my daughter and Nick, played by Henry Golding, and his relationship with his mother, played by Michelle Yeoh. Do you see, um, I feel like a lot of cultures, like I'm Iranian and a lot of cultures. Oh, you are? Yeah, I am. Okay. And I feel like there's sometimes, there there is that thing where it's just... Um, uh, two cultures also colliding within a culture. Um, how do I best explain this? Like you're saying in the film, uh, this person's from this city, this person's from this village. Can it happen? Can it not happen? And is a feud. The mothers, can they get along? I feel like it's uh, international. Oh, it's absolutely international. We were just talking about it, um, my friends and myself. The two pairs, um, the rich uh -huh. uh, mother and son, and the working class mother and daughter. They seem so different from each other. And yet, actually, the two mothers are uh, energized by exactly the same quality, which is a deep and protective and devoted love for their child. They, both the mothers, want the best for their children. And it's just that it's manifest in, in such different ways. Yeah. Um, I, I, I love that. I, I see that in mothers all over the world. I see that in my own mother. I see that in myself as a mother. I've got a 20-year-old 20, 20 daughter. And um, I, 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 I just think that, you know, movies that have universal themes that unify people, I guess that's why people like to go and watch movies and, you know, to identify uh -huh. with situations. Yeah. What do you want people to best take away from this film? I want everyone to have a good time. I want people to have a good laugh. I want people to have a good cry. I want people to be um, more understanding of um, unusual cultures, like the ones from my own country, which is featured so beautifully and so lovingly in the movie. And I dare say 
every audience member is probably going to get every single one of that experience. <laughs> yeah. What do you think people are going to best love about your character? Oh, I think many, many mothers, and I've already gotten feedback about this, will identify with the devotion and the sort of tenacity that mothers have for their children. It's a mama bear uh, thing. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a mama bear yeah, thing. It, it <laughs> totally is. Mothers are relentless and mothers are so fierce and so loving. I think that comes across so clearly, not just in my character, but in the Michelle Yeoh character uh -huh. as well. I, like you because said, the same I'm a thing. mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because I'm a mother, I just, I, I love, I love that feeling, and I, I, I really identify with that. Now, what are the next projects that you have in the works, or are you trying to stay here a little bit long to see if something can develop? Um, yes. Um, and then just today, something came across the phone, and 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 that <laughs> looks really exciting. Um, but I'm not going to mention about yes. that yet. I produce for the theatre quite a bit in Singapore. I've got a couple of projects uh, to handle when I get back. Um, but before all of that, there's the Singapore premiere of Crazy Rich Asians, um, August the 21st, and I'm really looking forward to putting out this movie. I'm so proud of to my own people. Do you th how different do you think it's going to be having the premiere here and then in Singapore? Very different. Is it about to be even a bigger party over there? You know, I don't know about the size of the party, um, but I think, y you know, you know what it's like to offer something back to your own people? Mm -hmm. They know so much more about you. Uh -huh. And I know they're going to come with different sets of eyes. Um, I'm just excited to see how everybody is going to react. And I'm ready to accept um, how everybody is going to react. I just hope for the best, that's all. Well, I'm super excited for you. I'm excited for your rest of the stay here, because yeah. <laughs> it seems like it's been a party every single day. But thank you so much for being in the studio. No, thank you. It's been a real honor to be here, and thank you for your time. Thank you, and I can't wait to see the film. August yes. 15th, Crazy Rich Asians. Catch you guys later. I'm Nick Marty. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.